Hey friends, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that you can convert your Excite Pro layouts into eBay compatible layouts. Now I'm going to assume that you have a general understanding of how to use Excite Pro and how to get your um, pages uploaded to the internet. All we need to do know now is then how can we convert them over so that they work properly on eBay layouts. You can see right here that I have opened up a layout that I recently did for um, a PlayStation 3 that I sold. Uh, it had a Warhawk bonus. I created the um, the actual page layout in Photoshop and then sliced it up and imported it into Excite Pro. And then I added all the text and all the pictures. I infused a YouTube video in here. Um, added some more pictures, talked about the bonus, infused another YouTube video, told them to check out my feedback, shipping payment methods and everything like that. Looks a lot better when it's full size, but because I'm recording this for streaming video, we had to keep it down a little bit lower, so you can't see the whole thing in this window. But in any case, this is the actual layout for the eBay auction, and you can see I have it saved here. I upload all of my um, eBay listings using Excite Pro into a special directory I have called eBay Layouts. This one was for Warhawk PS3 and then you can see that the actual page was main.html. Now if you know anything about how Excite Pro saves things, it saves all of the files into this same directory here. So this page right here which is main.html is saved into the Warhawk PS3 directory but so are all of these pictures down here. This picture not the YouTube preview video because that's saved on YouTube but this picture and this picture all saved in that same directory. This picture that I made with Photoshop and this picture down here as well as the style sheet for this entire cute layout and this header graphic here. They're all saved in this Warhawk PS3 directory. Okay, So the trick is we need to be able to get it to look exactly like this on eBay and here is how you do it. First you go here, I, you gotta use Internet Explorer for this and uh, you're going to need to use a, uh, a second type of web editor like a, a smaller one. I'm going to use front page. You can use NVU or anything like that but um, Dreamweaver will work just fine as well. But you're going to go to your page source and you'll say view source and then you're going to copy all this. So hit control A to select it all. Hit control C to copy all of your code and then what you need to do is, is switch over to your basic web editor. Like I said we're using front page here and then you hit, hit new page we're going to switch over to our code view and delete all the basic code out and then paste in the code for our layout page. Now before we switch over to normal view or preview view we need to make sure that um, we make one quick change up here. At the top up here you're going to see this little thing that says xspstyles.css we're going to need a little, add a little bit of stuff here. See, what's going on is when eBay runs this code to display it in your eBay layout, it doesn't know where to find anything. And that's why it looks like this. You have broken links, broken header graphics, broken graphics to all your pictures. The YouTube preview video will show up because it knows exactly where to find that. The YouTube URL is what's called absolute. But all your other pictures are busted. So this is what you do in order to fix it go back to your Internet Explorer window right here and you need to highlight everything here up to the slash before the or the forward slash before um, your actual page that's being displayed. And this is the page being displayed main.html. We need to highlight everything before that. And we hit control C and copy it and then we're going to update all of the links or all of the URLs in the actual code for this particular listing. And you're going to start by going here. You look for this little piece of code that says xsp underscore styles.css. Place your cursor before that and hit control V. And now it will tell eBay exactly where to look for. So it's going to look for this file right here. Da 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 eBay layout slash warhawk ps slash xsp underscore styles.css and you can see it's already starting to take shape. So you've got the left frame here already integrated, the right frame, the entire thing got recentered. If we go down to the bottom, you can see the footer graphics already there. And now all we need to do is upgrade all of the picture graphics as well. So if you're using front page, just right click on any of the pictures, go to pictures properties, 
go to the general tab place your cursor before the actual file name and hit control V and paste that same URL extension before it and look at that there is our header graphic and let's update all the other pictures using the same method I'm gonna go pretty quickly here so cursor goes before the picture and then it gets imported you get used to doing this so and all of a sudden you're doing it real fast just like this and you just do every single picture that looks like it's a broken link I hate sellers on eBay that have broken picture links nothing irritates me more than taking a look at somebody's listing and you got these X's there saying, or broken little pages saying, hey, that isn't going to work because we can't find the picture. Because the seller didn't take the time to get the pictures and all the URLs updated. So I think we have all of the pictures updated. If I could look at it full screen, it would be easier to see, but I think we do. And so you get the general idea. Here is exactly what this now looks like with all of the URLs for the pictures updated in the background using the code. So if we looked in the code we'd find these long links in here for all over the place for all these different pictures. There's one, there's one. It doesn't really matter how it works, all you need to know is that it does work. From here what you're going to do is you're going to want to save your file. So when you hit save, what it's going to do, we'll call it um, Temporary Warhawk, because I've obviously already saved this and here's a, an, an important screen. It was going to say, what do you want to do? Save the files and basically rename them all? The answer is no, you don't want to do that. They're already on the internet. You want the, the, the URLs to stay how you've converted them now because they're the right way for eBay now. So you go to set action and you say don't save. Don't save the files and leave the references in the page just as it is. That's how you want it to be. And say okay. Now the file is saved. From here you're good to go. Just in your code view hit control A and select all then hit control C to copy it all open up turbo lister or open up your listing um, listing tool right in eBay paste this into your listing description and your listing description will come out looking exactly like this just the way you want it to so that is pretty much it about how to create an eBay auction layout using Excite Pro. If you have any other questions, feel free to PM me on the message board. Uh, I think that this will be helpful for a lot of people. And once again, it's one of the free things that I do. Cool. Have a great day.